The past couple of months, I've been in the hills living at the cabin, navigating this new off-grid journey, truly reintegrating with nature, being a student of life, foraging, and slowly finding my way back to simplicity, and nourishing a deeper sense of self-reliance, learning the land around me and practicing presence and dissolving all these harmful societal notions built up in my head while developing genuine gratitude for the little moments in life. I've poured my heart into constructing and cultivating a tiny garden in a place where it feels like all of the odds are against me. And we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but getting to this point was not easy. When I met my partner Kyle, his cabin was gutted and required dedication. I worked in corporate and had never picked up a power tool, but with years of practice and persistence and really just Kyle being my ultimate mentor, the motions felt increasingly familiar and my authentic self was finally waking up. And along the way, I left my job and started a small business rooted in a passion for holistic and clean goods. It began at the old office, transitioned to our apartment in town where it eventually encroached on our living space and the cabin didn't provide any room. It was a weird position to be in. My herbs were everywhere and I had a long drive out of town to go harvest from the cabin. I felt scattered. Long story short, we were moving to the cabin to live but needed to keep the apartment as an office with access to Wi-Fi and storage. We felt inescapably tethered to the lifestyle we were trying to break away from. And then, in divine timing, the answer came out of the blue. be quite the journey. So the idea of a house had been floating around for a while, actually. The apartment was too small, Kyle had to utilize multiple storage units, and it made more sense in theory to be paying to own a place with room for our belongings. We needed a work spot with Wi-Fi and space for our businesses. It just felt bizarre to entertain the idea because we had this unwavering commitment to cabin life and just got to the point of living there and I couldn't fathom taking on something so big, but also felt stuck. The lack of room really halted progress in my business, blocked creativity, and we desperately wanted to be closer to the cabin and away from the noise of the busy town we were in. On the other hand, we didn't want to just buy anything, so sometimes we would go look at houses, but nothing felt quite right or aligned until this one, which is kind of comical. It's in rough condition, the exterior's rotting, the roof is falling apart, and the interior was very dirty and damaged. But it was affordable, and I'd like to think that the cabin renovations have prepared us for this undertaking, and that feeling we both had walking in here was undoubtable. We're going to slowly transform this entire house in the background and eventually live here full time in a way we can't do at the current cabin. And you know, the best part is this place is also a cabin in the woods, but it's much more feasible in a multitude of ways. The immediate goal is to have this place usable and clean, a blank slate that we can chip away at as time allows for. I know this is probably somewhat confusing and definitely unconventional, but I've just accepted that life doesn't have to be black and white or follow someone else's ideal timeline. What's much more important is we're happy and inspired and excited and optimistic in so many new ways. I started deep cleaning this room, but to progress and help kind of visualize the layout, I'm going to take down all these pre-existing shelves, um, patch up all the holes, and then I got some paint that I really like, so it'll brighten up the room.
So I'm gonna paint the office today. I picked out a color called linen white. I think it'll really brighten it up in here. And I'm excited. I've got some new brushes I've never used before, like this corner brush that should make it pretty easy. Kyle's right above me painting the bedroom. Actually, I think I can I can see right through the floor. Yeah. <laughs> the floorboards are just so thin. They are. The floorboards are very thin. I was planning on possibly ship lapping today, but I didn't bring all of my tools. And then when I stood up from going to the bathroom today, I had this weird like wave go through my back. And ever since I haven't been able to bend forward, <laughs> sounds really bad. I didn't throw it out going to the bathroom. I think it's from all the heavy lifting we've been doing. Just need to lift with my legs a little more, but okay. You've got osteoporosis. You need to go to a doctor. What? <laughs> All right, I gotta get taken. starting out so early today. <laughs> it feels really cool to be buying my own tools. Like, I've always used Kyle's before, but ever since we got the house, I've been finding more importance in owning my own tools because we've got projects going on at different places and it honestly is kind of empowering. Like, you just know you have your own things. You don't have to rely on anybody else. So I got these sawhorses yesterday for the ship lap. My back's Whoa. <laughs> my back's feeling a bit better once this is set up I'll go do a second round of paint inside the office and then when that's done and drying I'll start the shiplap oh, I think I'm gonna paint the shiplap white I'm not sure yet I do think it'll be nice and bright and we'll see we'll see Coat two is on the walls, definitely going to need a coat three. And so while that dries, I'm going to work on this section here, which would have been a closet if this was a bedroom, but this is where I'm going to do all my small business endeavors. Um, and I work with my hands for the majority of that. So this space in front of me, I need to work out a layout for um, crafting, shipping things out, storage, so on and so forth. And then this will be like the digital nook. So. I need to put up some nailers on the side because there is a vent here that I don't want to mess with. This has to go and there's a ton of nails in it so I have to rip it out. <laughs> I swear if I think this is a bug one more time, I feel like this thing is going to come and hit me in the face. <laughs> Should I be wearing safety goggles right now? Oh, 
It would be pretty cool to have some inset shelves right here. That'd take a lot of work, but I could do it. I want this. Yeah? Which is weird because at the cabin I sleep on the other side, but this feels right. This is the side I slept on at the apartment. And I guess that works out in your favor because everything's smaller on this side. Hmm. So I'll okay. take that little shelf. Yeah. So I do have some two by fours out back that are from ripping down the basement walls. It's crooked. So crooked. Wow. Chip lab's good to go. I'm gonna paint it. I don't know if it'll need one or two coats, hopefully just one. And then when that dries, I can install the shelves. Um, I have one more coat of paint to do on the walls and move-in day is in two days, so we made the cut. Everything looks pretty good and ready to go, so I'm going to start peeling the tea. Wow, it's so different without the tea. Yeah, there's boxes everywhere right now, so to help kind of picture where things are going to go, I need to just get them out of the boxes and onto the shelves. I don't think this is where this stuff will stay. I have to figure out a better flow, but it definitely relieves some stress every time a box gets unpacked. Oh my gosh, so it was around this time we realized the severity of our roof. This summer has been really unforgiving with the rain. One of our skylights turns into a waterfall every storm. It is pretty stressful. And I spent a couple days picking away at little things in my room, getting some plants in there, livening the space. I haven't had my own space in a very long time since before I moved in with Kyle actually. And so a lot of it was just tucked away in boxes and bringing it back out. I felt like a little kid again, redecorating my room. It's funny because the rest of the house feels like it's in shambles, but this is like my safe space, <laughs> my happy spot. 
the place that feels like it's coming together a little bit at least. This was also my first time having full creative reign over a project and especially now knowing how to operate power tools. Oh, it just gave me a little taste of what redoing the rest of this house will be like. And though there are certainly times I want to throw my tools and scream, overall it is so much fun and I am so eager to see how it unfolds. What a day. I just finished putting up the shelves and realized I didn't have much to fill them with, but the point of this is to just have the space. Didn't have this before. It feels really nice, so over time they'll naturally fill up. I actually have space on the shelves for decorating besides just necessary things, and I haven't had that in a long time. So I am very excited to see how this all plays out and the things I collect. Not that I want to fill the space right away. I do not want clutter. That's been a big part of moving here. This has more decorative stuff. This will be more camera gear that can get tucked away. And I have to just keep remembering this is a temporary stage we're in. The house will come together with time, all of it, as we renovate room by room. Even this office still has a lot to go, but it's functional. And that's where we wanted to get with things is have it be functional. We want to live the off-grid life and be at the cabin every day and now we will finally start to really be able to do that now that this period of life is kind of coming to an end. Like I said, we'll be able to pick away at this place as we're able to and take our time and do it right and how we envision it. All that being said, I definitely want to make sure I'm documenting every chapter of this house. So I think I'm going to run around and just capture what it looks like right now. We have moved in, so it has been hard to keep up with that. Everything's been really fast paced. So though I wasn't able to get the process of getting everything where it is right now throughout the house, I can capture what it looks like to look back on, which will be really neat when things are done here. There's been a ton of stress lately and I don't know, right now it just feels like there's a big weight off of my shoulders and I'm sure Kyle can agree. 